walls of Jerusalem. All right. Now, when you look up the word Kidron, it means dark or gloomy. So that whole that whole section where they gathering it outside of the walls of Jerusalem, that's where the Most High gonna make the judgment. And also, Israel gonna get hit. It's gonna get hit too. It's gonna be laid flat. But that's where the Most High gonna make his judgment. In Jehoshaphat and in Kidron. So when you go into some old map, it'll show you Kidron where where uh the, the valley of Jehoshaphat is. Kidron, I'm going to turn it that way where you can see it. Kidron Valley. See, and that's the same as uh, Jehoshaphat. Some old maps got Jehoshaphat right there and some got Kidron right there. But that's outside the walls of Jerusalem. That red line is the walls of Jerusalem. So that's outside the walls, like 20 miles outside the walls of Jerusalem. And what they used to do is they used to uh, uh, put graves out there and they used to uh, 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 set the idols that uh, Israel broke down out there in that particular land. So when the Most High make a decision in the Valley of Jehoshaphat, it's also Kidron too, because Kidron means dark or gloomy, and and you know, so that's why I I I I, I, I speak on them too, Je Jehoshaphat and Kidron to help you out. You know, but that's just for a, a knucklehead that call itself. You know, so, smart. Yeah. Yeah, some bits about this. <laughs> yeah. Yo, this is like an air of 16. And, uh, 10. He shall cast lightning. And who shall not fear? He shall thunder. And who shall not be afraid? The Lord shall threaten. And who shall not be utterly beaten to powder at his presence? That's the ones who are gonna fight against him, man. They're gonna be beat to powder, man. Right? And it tell you that in 2nd Ezra 13. How when that laser come out, they're gonna be evaporated, man. It's gonna be like a cremation, man. That's that's gonna be the real cremation. Just like the world. <laughs> world. <laughs> With Tom Cruise. And it says. That gutter rat. He like a gutter rat. He got that nose. He got that nose like a gutter rat. Called Jupiter. But I know he just, they say he's a Scientologist, but he looks like a gutter rat. That nose gets in the way. Yeah, they probably had him to get started where everybody could follow this dude. All the time he had the whaling wall. It says, second Ezra 16. All right, with that, with that, uh, with that keep on, with that keep on his head. Yeah. With that keep on, that yarmulke. They put that yarmulke, they put that, it's a, it's a keeper. And in the Yiddish, it's called a yarmulke. But they say the reason why they wear that, that yarmulke on their head, that they know that it's a high power and it's a, and that they uh, not ashamed of being called uh, Jewish. That's why they wear that, that yarmulke. That ain't no way to yeah. In that welling wall, they say that's part of the wall when you go in the, when you go in the Harper's Bible Dictionary, they say that's part of the wall that was uh, uh, left during the destruction of 770 AD. That's that welling wall. You know? okay. That's why when we read Jeremiah 14, when they read it, that's why they run through an all black to the wall. <laughs>
said it. I'm gonna get it. Back that up. Psalm 77. Psalm 77 and 16. 77 and 16 says, The water saw thee, O power. And the water saw thee. They were afraid. The depths also were troubled. So the water's gonna be afraid. It says, The earth make it swell. The earthquake and the foundations thereof. The sea arises up the waves from the deep. And the waves of it are troubled. And the fish thereof also before the Lord. So it's like, you know, the, when this happened, man, the low and the meat, we try to let, we're going to be glad, man, when that day come, man. When that day come, man, we're going to be, we're going to be glad, we're going to be glad that, that, that it's happened. This is uh, Isaiah 29.
my people, how have he removed it from me? Turning away, he have divided our fields. Therefore thou shalt have none that shall cast a cord by lot in the congregation of the Lord. Yahweh. That's all in it. You want to what, what verse you That's five. No, stay in four. Stay in four. Yeah, that's all I want. Four. God. Read chapter verse four again. God. Michael two and four. In that day shall one take up a parable against you. That's the parable that the other nations is basically saying. Okay. And lament with a doleful lamentation. It means that means bitter. And it says, and say, we be utterly spoiled. Destroy. He have changed the portion of my people. How have he removed it from me? Yeah, because he have changed the portion of the people because he have taken their natural resources. So them heathens over there are gonna be looking at this so-called white man like man, this, this devil can't rule over us. He, he taking all, all our natural resources. It's over for that. So go back to heaven. Uh, Habakkuk 2, verse 6. Shall not all these take up a parable against him and a taunting proverb against him, saying, Woe to him that increases that which is not his. How long? And to him that laid in himself with thick clay. In debt. So he just stole everything and got himself in debt. So these other nations like shit. It, in other words, they like, man, this devil can't rule over us. He's not the leader of us. He just stole and took everything in he in debt too. Nah, we got to come against him. And that's what's going to happen. So they're going to shoot missiles on them. All American allies going to shoot missiles on them. They're going to hate the horn. This is uh, Wisdom of Solomon 521. Then shall the right aiming thunderbolts go abroad, and from the clouds, as from the well drawn boat, shall they fly to their mark. So, <laughs> so when these missiles are being shot out these silos, they're gonna hit their mark, man. It says who 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 can quench them with that fire, man? Nobody. They can't stop it when they being shot. Only only one to stop is how about shooting y'all shot. And his intention is to destroy America. So that's what's gonna that's what it's gonna be, man.